Hello my friends, I'm Serenity Dawn and welcome to this story. Today I am bringing you an Owl Crate unboxing. And this month's theme is Libraries of Wonder. I don't know why I felt like doing it that way, but I did. So we're gonna roll with it. This is a monthly subscription box, which I have been getting for the most part the last few months and I have thoroughly enjoyed them. They have been a lot of fun and I'm just so stinking excited for this month um, because one of the things that they revealed to us I'm super excited. I'm super excited about. So let's get into it shall we? I have now opened the box. <laughs> So this is the spoiler card in little Owl Crate art print, and it looks like it is inspired by Beauty and the Beast, but obviously a their artist rendition of it, which is kind of cool. Those antlers are really interesting, I think. So we'll put that next to my throne of glass because his antlers remind me of the deer sand. Deer. Okay. And there those go in my wonderful squiggly box. I love these. They're so much fun. And they're wonderful for other gifts and stuff. I just think they're fantastic. Okay, so the first thing that I see in here is Book Bow's Brew, which is a coffee, and it's Bell's Library. It's nutty, bright, and a touch of this provincial life. I love that. Oh, goodness. Organic, ethically sourced, and fair trade. Handcrafted by Cervantes Coffee. Very interesting. It's a beautiful um, label. All right. You get a good look at that. Bell's Library by Bookbo. Isn't that a lovely label? I just think that's beautiful. Hmm. It's a little difficult to smell it through the packaging, but it's pleasant what I can smell. I like it. Unfortunately, that's only like a couple of pots of coffee in my household, <laughs> but that's okay. You will enjoy it, I hope, and I'm pretty sure. Ooh, I'm not sure what this is, but it is, oh, I just spoiled myself. It's got little flowers and foliage and book, and so we're going to open this up. <sighs> Okay, when in doubt, go to the library. Libraries were full of ideas, perhaps the most dangerous and powerful weapons of all. Oh, these are stuck together. Oh, crap. Ooh, okay. Imagine a place where the dead rest on shelves like books. I do not know which one that is from. I know this one's from Harry Potter, and I know this one's from Throne of Glass. <sighs> They're really stuck together. <laughs> okay, here we go. Books spoke mind to mind, soul to soul, across the abyss of distant time and distance. I know that quote. I know that quote. Ah, okay. The other two are by Rachel Kane and Victoria Schwab. Okay. Cricket. I'm pretty sure that's the Morganville Vampire series. Imagine a place where the dead rest on shelves like books. Libraries were full of ideas, perhaps the most dangerous and powerful of all weapons. Books spoke mind to mind, soul to soul, across the abyss of time and distance. And then, when in doubt, go to the library. Some of these, they're a little bit messed up on the finish. I don't know what happened, just they were, it kind of looks like they were put together too quickly when they were, after having the sealant put on them. I'm not sure. It's kind of sad, because these are really cool. Really pretty. I like them. That was the coasters. <gasps> the next thing in here! Oh my goodness, this is what I was super excited about. These 
or pretty sturdy. I'm really excited about that. These are inspired by the Chronicles of Narnia. They were created by Hey Atlas Creative. There is a set of two of them. Now, I'm going to do it like this so hopefully you can see the design at its best. And it's a lamppost with stars and snow. Oh, that's so cool. And the bottom has this lovely scroll work. Oh, that is too cool with stars as well. I like that. Oh, yay. I've had some bookends on various styles on my wish list for a while. And so, yay, these will come in super duper handy as with most people's libraries. So, yeah, that's good. So good. So that is so far really awesome. I'm very excited. The two things that we pulled out have been really good. And this next thing I'm feeling is a fabric item. I love fabric items. They make me happy. So happy. <gasps> Ooh. Dream up something wild and impossible. This is from Strange. Ooh. This is from Strange the Dreamer. I dropped it there. Oh, how pretty. What a beautiful tote bag. <gasps> Yo, check this out. That is so pretty. Oh, dream up something wild and impossible. Oh, I love that. And you've got the moths with some like laurels. Oh, I love that. That is so pretty. Oh my word, y'all. This is really cool. Who did this? The coasters were done by KDP Letters. Off to a trip to your local library, be sure to bring your beautiful exclusive tote bag with you to help carry all the books you've checked out. Inspired by Strange the Dreamer and designed by the amazing Stella Bookish Art. I like Stella Bookish Art. Her stuff is just so lovely. Yes. Yes, I do. I like it. Okay, had to rearrange a little bit. We've got the tote bag. We've got some bookends. We've got our coasters. Let's see what else we have. Oh, how cute. How cute is this? This is a key looking, I'm pretty sure this is a pen. Kind of looks like it might be a pen. It is a pen and I opened it the wrong way. <laughs> okay. Ha ha. Ooh, it's a micron pen. It's really pretty. The pen that looks like a cute little key in a metallic, um, like aqua color. It's really pretty. And it looks like if you wanted to, you could put it on a string or a lanyard or something or hang it. Yeah. If you wanted to use it for decor instead or around your neck on a lanyard or something. Anyway, this is to write book reviews using your super cute key gel pen. And who knows, maybe you'll unlock secret passages with them too. Chosen for you by Team Owlcrate. How fun. I like pens. In fact, my husband and my kids and I recently, we've been making a little trek down to San Antonio in Texas. And whenever we've been going in that area, they've got a lot of bookstores. And I've been checking out several of them. And I got this cute um, feather pen from a little um, privately owned local bookstore. And it's just, I love it. I think it's so fun. Such a cute pen. Anyway, I like pens. I like fun pens. I enjoy a lovely and wonderfully smooth writing utensil. It makes me happy. <laughs> Ta-da! All right, now it looks like, oh, oh, hey. Woohoo, we got, I forgot, we got a pen that you wear, an enamel pen. <laughs> Two different kinds of pens this month. This is Child of the Library. Ooh, that's pretty. It's got a stack of books with cat, and it is too cute. And this was designed in collaboration with Rio and Brandish. And this is the design of the pen, and it is really pretty. I like the colors and the design a lot. Very cute and accurate because growing up, I was in the library multiple times a week. I was at all the story times. I did the summer reading programs and everything else. So, yes, I love this. Now, <laughs> we are to the book. It is a major cover change, like, color-wise. 
The main color of this book is a gorgeous teal. I mean, when I saw that, I thought, what a beautiful book. What a beautiful book. I was very, very concerned about there being a major cover color change for this book because the publishers did phenomenal with it. But I do have to say, this Owl Crane edition is stunning as well. I like them both a lot. This is beautiful. It's got like this beautiful jewel tone. Oh, I love this purple. Oh, it's so pretty. And it's got like deep like lavender with hints of lilac. And then you've got some, oh, you've still got a little bit of the teal here on her. Oh, that's pretty. It's almost, it's almost iridescent. That is just stunning. So pretty in person y'all I just cannot oh so pretty I love that it's got this gold lettering oh that's so pretty look at that spine it's beautiful and this is about a girl in a library which is why we have libraries of wonder theme this month it's got a purple with black it's not sprayed but oh that's cool Look at the way that it sound. Normally it says like owl crate or something, but it doesn't. It's it's a very thick. It's a thick, almost like thin piece of or not thin. It's a thick piece of like cardstock. It almost reminds me of a thin piece of poster board, is what I was gonna say. I mean the feel and the texture and consistency of it reminds me of a thin piece of poster board. That's really cool. I like that. Yeah, that is so cool. Uh, okay. Let me read you the synopsis for those of you who are interested because it sounds really intriguing. All sorcerers are evil. Elizabeth has known that as long as she has known anything. Raised as a foundling in one of Alstomir's great libraries, Elizabeth has grown up among the tools of sorcery. Magical grimoires that whisper on the shelves and rattle beneath iron chains. If provoked, they transform into grotesque monsters of ink and leather. She hopes to become a warden, charged with protecting the kingdom from their power. Then an act of sabotage releases the library's most dangerous grimoire. Elizabeth's desperate intervention implicates her in the crime, and she is torn from her home to face justice in the capital. With no one to turn to but her sworn enemy, the sorcerer Nathaniel Thorne and his mysterious demonic servant, she finds herself entangled in a centuries-old conspiracy. Not only could the great libraries go up in flames, but the world along with them. As her alliance with Nathaniel grows stronger, Elizabeth starts to question everything she's been taught about sorcerers, about the library she so loves, even about herself. For Elizabeth has a power she has never guessed, and a future she could have never imagined. This book is by Margaret Rogerson, and she is the author of An Enchantment of Ravens. Now, I have not read that book, but my word, the cover of that book is stunning as well. I'm pretty sure this is Charlie Bowwater. Let's double check. Yeah. He's got such a distinctive, distinctive style. You can pick it from a mile away, I feel like, because, hmm, yes, very eye-catching and distinctive pieces of artwork that Charlie does. All right, so that's the book. Now, in it, we also got this letter. It says, uh, on one side, it's got the Sorcery of Thorns. Doo -doo. Dear reader, if this book were as dangerous as the ones that lurked within the pages, your owl crate box would have arrived inside a locked metal coffer bound shut with iron chains. Fortunately, the novel you're about to read does not have a mind of its own and is considerably less likely to turn into a monster. My entire life, I've been captivated by magical libraries and fiction. The Hogwarts Restricted section, the Clare's Library in Ly Lyriel, the wondrous bookshelves in the Beast Castle. As a lonely girl who looked to books for companionship, those places were as close to paradise as I could imagine, regardless of their danger. So when it came time to write my next book, it seemed natural to set it in such a library and to make the heroine a friend to books. 
no matter how monstrous and frightening they might appear. I hope that a sorcery of thorns becomes a friend to you, too, that it is a sanctuary if you need one, and that you find companionship alongside its unconventional found family of a librarian, a sorcerer, and a demon. Sincerely, MRM. Ah, oh, that is so cool. I like that. That was a good letter. There's also, ooh, it looks like a decal. Nice. Magic can twist the purest hearts. Sorcery of Thorns. And this has got the original artwork, it looks like. Um, color scheme. Of course, the same artwork, different color scheme. That's pretty. I like that, too. The July theme is going to be Tournaments and Trials. Ooh. I like that there's, like, jousting happening in this picture. That's really fun. Okay. And, of course, of course, the July item is going to be... A Harry Potter mug by Kara Cozy. I don't know how to pronounce her name, but the one who's been doing the Harry Potter mugs is going to be doing one in their July box. And so that'll be fun. I like that they've got these game pieces on it. That's so fun. Tournaments and trials with a Harry Potter mug included in that box. Sorry, I just kind of tossed that spoiler card there. But anyway, let me know what you thought of this month's Owl Crate. I am super excited and blown away by the items. Um, like I said, there's just a little bit on, of like, kind of on the coasters. It's kind of bummer, but <sighs> I'm sure they're not all like that. I'm sure other people's are perfectly fine. And still a, a very nice quality item. I love this bag design by Stella Bookishart. Hey, Atlas did an excellent job on the bookends. It's a very subtle nod to Chronicles of Narnia, um, but iconic all the same. And this book cover change um, is beautiful and stunning. Like I said, I love teal. It's one of my favorite colors of all time, and I loved the cover colors, but this one is beautiful. So I am not disappointed at all. Um, kind of like Wicked Saints. I love the original cover even more so than the Owl Crate. I know. But the Owl Crate was nice, just not as beautiful as the original. This one, I have to say, is as beautiful as the original. And that's saying something because the original has my favorite color shades of Teal and Aqua. So, woohoo! Good job! Good job! Yes, I'm excited to read this. I'm excited to use the coasters and the pins and the bag and the oh, bookends. So exciting. How is your summer going? We are in the end of June now. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It doesn't seem quite right. The summer is flying by. I don't like that. <laughs> As a teacher, I enjoy summer. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, it's been a busy one, even though I'm not teaching right now. My husband is still doing classes and just trying to keep keep up with the kids in the house and hindering that it has been a challenge for me. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I have some exciting videos coming up soon for you that are different than what I have done recently. So yay! Way to kind of break back into stuff. I am really excited and I hope that you will enjoy them as well. If you enjoyed this video and you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and ring the little bell and hit the like button too because hey, who doesn't like a good little bit of affirmation? <laughs> Have a beautiful, blessed day my friends and I will see you soon. Don't forget to enjoy this story. Bye.